Zachary, we're on the cusp of your third season in charge of your orchestra, the BBC Symphony Orchestra, and uh, and their chorus. Look, um, how's uh, how's it going? Fantastic. I'm really enjoying working here. I really enjoy working with the orchestra and the chorus, um, finding our common way through the different landscapes of music. The way our chemistry kind of works, I find it very rewarding. After last season's uh, Nielsen cycle, hugely well received, wonderful audiences, great reception. What are the things that guide you and the orchestra through 2015, 2016? Well, the aim was to do something different. Quite early on, I decided there wouldn't be another big cycle. Uh, it's built up from large orchestral pieces, Mahler III, Elgar I and II, uh, the Alpine Symphony by Richard Strauss, for instance. Um, those are pretty big pieces, yeah. Yes, and they are kind of pieces that I think will give the orchestra an opportunity to develop and to present our own distinct style of playing. got such a, a love, it seems, for British music. Not just Elgar, but there's, uh, there's Butterworth in this season, uh, Vaughan Williams. It doesn't presumably come from a place of thinking, well, I'm with the BBC Symphony Orchestra, I need to uh, honour their traditions in this repertoire. This must come from your own love of this music. I was really curious to, to look what there is, and I'm, I'm always kind of really happy to discover new things that perhaps no one else has ever heard about. And um, that's the thinking behind it. And, and of course, I mean, doing Elgar is nothing revolutionary, but, but the way we do it in could be, who knows. What, what about the new and completely new pieces you're going to be uh, conducting in, in, your, in your programs of the orchestra? Well, there is Brett Dean's Viola Concerto, which the composer himself is playing with us. And as his artist in association with the BBC Symphony Orchestra this coming season, it's really wonderful to see him in his capacity as a brilliant viola player, a soloist and a composer simultaneously. Uh, there will be a world premiere by Joseph Phipps quite late on in the season. And there will be the violin concerto Seamstress by Anna Klein, which will be played by Jennifer Coe. As you think about the whole season coming ahead, is there, is there one final thing you want to tell, tell everyone about that you're especially looking forward to that may, may be unfamiliar or less familiar to people that you think that that's really what I want people to hear? Well, I really think Arnold Bax is, is a composer that people know his name, but not much more. And, and people may know how his music roughly sounds like, but this particular piece, The Garden of Fan, is so spectacular. And again, takes Bax sort of way above the usual notion of English music and being a British composer and all that. It's something so, so beautifully crafted and extremely beautifully written. Well, just one of the revelations that's going to happen this season, Zachary. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.